Yo, what is going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to take a look at the backlog that we actually received from Jagex a year ago and see how that's come along since then. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Alright guys, for this video, I'm going to break it up into three sections coming over the course of the next couple of days. For this particular video, we're going to be talking about these smaller updates that were on the backlog. I don't know the state of the current backlog. This is from a year ago. Things may have been shelved, things may have changed, moved around, whatever the case may be. I don't know if these are still on the backlog, but if it's anything that you want to see make it to the game as of a year ago and not in the game yet, then I'd say press the J mods for it. Without any further ado, we're going to jump right into the smaller update, so let's go. First off, allow players to switch the ops on items on their action bar. This was something I believe Mod Sova was working on, and I've covered on in the channel here a couple times. Still not in the game yet, but basically you'd be able to change whatever the left click option on your action bar is for any given item. Don't know what the progress is on that, but some has been made since this came out a year ago. We're going to have to wait and see when that comes out. Next up, we have the Bounty Hunter Closure and Reward reward distribution we just had that update recently so we can cross that off the list no longer on the bat log they finally came through with that one that's good next up we have the dungeoneering contracts these are goals for dungeoneering i imagine it was something akin to like contracts in the arc region so maybe you'd get assigned to kill x amount of creatures within a wart floor or whatever the case may be and this would be like a interesting way to train your dungeoneering within demonheim i don't know if it's all too necessary now that we have elite dungeons and there's alternate way of training the skill but if it's something you'd be interested in then let me hear your thoughts on that next up we have the elite hunter creatures something akin to elite slayer mobs basically while you're training hunter one of these may spawn i don't know if it means they'll give more resources or rare resources that are only unique to the elite hunter creatures maybe some unique pet but that unfortunately never see the light of day up until this point Next up we have, in a similar vein, Elite Summoning Familiars. These are rare pouches that will add extra bonuses. I'm not sure if it was the case where they wanted it to be a random chance when you're summoning that one of them happens to be Elite. You know, when you're actually like making the pouches. Or that these Elite Familiars had their own unique recipes and you could create them like you would any other Summoning Familiar. I'm guessing the components would be rare new items, I don't know. But that's interesting. Another thing that has not come to light yet. Again, let me remind you that this is a year old list. Moving on, encouraging exploration, hidden items across the game world. I don't know if they necessarily did this. It's kind of vague, so it's really hard to say what they had in mind for this particular update. If you have anything that currently exists in game that you can think of that kind of fits this mold, then do let me know in the comments below. But as far as I can tell, nothing like this has been implemented currently. So we'll see. Moving on, we got faster reputation times two across the board. That actually has been implemented in the game, assuming you've completed the quests in the Metafoss region, or the ones that are associated with the reputation that you get in Metafoss. Upon completing the final one, you'll get a two times multiplier to your reputation. So that's been implemented. Moving on, the Gillenor Games Agility Sprint minigame, bringing that back. That's needless to say, doesn't exist in the game. It was actually a pretty decent way to train your agility if I remember way back in the day when it was out I was still I think I was still going for 99 at the time and you could do it like once a day maybe twice a day I don't remember what it was but it was a decent chunk amount of XP for agility for the short amount of time that you did it nowadays we have things like silver hawks and better agility courses and the like so it is what it is never came to the game curious to see if that's still in the backlog next up we have loot caskets dropped from skilling this is something I actually I would really like to see that would benefit skilling far more. Although we did kind of see something in a similar vein with the introduction of the Grace of the Elves with the Saren Spirits. That kind of fits the mold of this thing, but I was thinking something more along the lines of maybe you'd be having to cut a bunch of trees and then you get like some drop that can be opened up and you get like a noted amount of magic logs or whatever. Therefore, those logs came from the woodcutting skill. Same thing could go for fishing, something of a similar line. Then they could remove those things from the drop tables of bosses. 
I don't know. Let me know what you feel about that. Moving on, new invention tools. For example, Hunter, including a Clockwork Falcon. That would be really interesting, but again, it's another thing that never got to see the light of day. It would have been an interesting way to train Hunter, and I imagine it would come with probably some kind of perk associated with Hunter as well. Finally, we have the Pyramid Plunder Hard Mode. I don't necessarily know what they were trying to go for this. Something with better rewards, maybe like something that focuses more on the money-making side, because it's it's already pretty decent thieving XP and they really don't need a new best in slot thieving thing because there already exists the safe cracking which is really amazing XP so I don't imagine they'd need a hard mode particularly for a new XP method maybe like I said for a money making method but let me know if you guys have any ideas anyways that sums up the smaller updates stay tuned on the channel we're gonna be talking about medium and larger updates in the coming days let me know what you guys think of this kind of video where we take a back look at in this case the backlog but we can do more things that have yet to see the light of day that were shown off in the past sound off in the comments with that i'm wrapping up the video if you enjoyed hit that like button if you're not subscribed and you want to stay up to date on all things whiskey related then hit that subscribe button anyways i appreciate you watching i am out peace